life organizes around light. And light is the biggest part of the three-legged stool of light, water, and magnetism. So how about we start with the story of light? What is light and how is it so relevant to us? Light contains all the energy and information that's present in the world. And it's buried and it's hidden from us. And matter has to be used to pull that energy and information out. What's the next semiconductor that does that? Water. Water is the means of communication for us to understand the energy and information that's buried in light. So remember how this all began. Whether you're religious or you believe in the theory of evolution, what did they say in Genesis 1, 1 to 1, 12? Let there be light. Mm -hmm. So what is God effectively yeah, telling? Yeah, what is God effectively telling us? That the answer is ultimately found in light. But guess what God didn't tell us? What the recipe was. So what's the message to you and me as sentient beings that are having this discussion that we need to parse out how we get and tap the information and energy and information that's in light so that we can make a meaningful life, that we can explain Bitcoin, that we can explain why we're drawn to each other, why we don't like each other, you know, why Arabs and Jews don't like each other, why, you know, the United States government is filled with criminals. The answer is in the light that's around us. And it's our duty to decipher it. And inside our cranium, we have this amazing quantum electromagnetic computer that allows us to decipher the cipher in the code of light. Hmm. So the other quote, the quote on water, I was going to quote of you. You said, water is a chameleon. It's the medium, the means, and the message for cells. And so you have life occurring at the interface point between light and water. Um, what, and I've also heard you say that light structures water. Uh, this struck me, it sounded to me like almost like a masculine and feminine principle. I look at Taoist that the sun, the, the energy, the, the information, the, the structuring, bringing order to chaos, and water's more the chaotic, fluid, generative, like dynamic um, aspect of reality. I don't think about it as male and female, but when I say structure, what, what am I fundamentally talking about? I'm talking about the physics. I'm talking about water is physically changed. It's a phase transition mm -hmm. when light interacts with it. Okay. Now, I understand how you could say that, that would be a male and female interaction, because I do get that, because obviously there is Sorry, a change. Uh, masculine and feminine is more like the assertive and receptive aspects of reality. I'm talking about a little bit more Eastern right. philosophy rather right. than female, but yes. I, when I tend to talk about this stuff, I get very, very reductionist when I'm trying to describe it to a non-scientific audience. So when I say structure, the atomic structure of water is physically changed by light. Right. In other words, water no longer is H2O. Got it. It actually changes its crystalline structure. It becomes a liquid crystalline display that allows life on Earth to manifest in the way that it does. Uh, and that's what gives us, you know, the Library of Alexandria of human kind. Our brains are designed to decipher that message in a very specific way because of how we use the electromagnetic spectrum. We don't use the entire electromagnetic spectrum on Earth. We're designed to use a very small part of it. In fact, one octave of 73 octaves that are present. So if you think about light in the grander scale, the electromagnetic spectrum is a scale that has 73 octaves. But on our planet, where we are, a third rock from the sun, we use one octave. And we do something very unusual. Most of it is in the visible spectrum between 250 and 760. We can go all the way up to 3100. But we also use 7.83 hertz, which is in the extreme low frequency radio wave. And that actually is the frequency of the TV station that's built into our brains that allow us to know where the sun and the earth are in relation to each other. Why? Because it turns out 
that seasonal changes are big. That also means circadian changes are big, just as you experienced today. Come to El Salvador, the sun rises at you know 6.04 a.m. today. Um, our brains are designed to pay attention to that because it turns out every single biochemical pathway in us takes its lead from when that sun rises and what happens at seven, what happens at eight. There are sequential changes. These are us changing the equalizer buttons on the flow meters of entropy, which are our mitochondria, that actually tell us what time is doing. That allows us to extract the energy and the information from the light that's around us at every time. And the amount of energy and information that we can extract from light actually is a consequence of the time that's around us. Can we extract the same amount of information in the morning that we can at noon? The answer is science actually tells us, the centralized science, that our cognition is best at midday. So if you think about that, I made the case to you that our capabilities are not great not as great as they could be. We're not designed in the decentralized network of nature to be at our best in the morning or at night. Cognitively, we are sharp. We are the, the silly talking monkey with a quantum computer on our head that works best at midday when the best light of the day is around us. So that should actually tell you why I always believe that food trumps, I should say light trumps food because we know that the best light of the day is when our cognition is tremendous. But it points out something that you asked me about. Um, do we harvest light energy and light information the same at all hours of the day? The answer is no, we don't. And we need to become aware of that because it turns out what happens when we use a competing light source or information source? That means we're not able to extract the full amount of energy or information from those systems either. If you enjoyed this clip, click here for the full episode and here for more just like it. Also like this video to help shine light on the corruption of money and subscribe to stay connected. Thank you.